Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elena if you're new here. Today I thought I would show you guys my um, skirts and warm-ups and all that stuff that I use for ballet. So um, I have this giant pile, everything's laid out. So I think I'm just going to sit down right here and show you. And this will be a try-on, so I'll try on everything while I'm talking about it. So I guess we should just go ahead and get started here. There's not really like a good background in my room, so I'm sorry about that, but this is just what we're dealing with. Okay, what should we start with? Hmm, should we start with skirts? I think we should start with skirts. For skirts, I have a bunch of different brands and stuff. Um, I used to love, love, love bullet point skirts and I had them in like so many different colors and I would always like match them with my leotard and stuff, but I don't really do that anymore. I kind of stopped wearing them. I sold a lot of them on um, eBay, but I still have a couple. So first, um, just like a staple black bullet point skirt. Um, this is, I forgot to say sizes in my leotard collection and then I got a bunch of questions about it. So if the size, if I remember the size or it's on here, I'll let you know. This one's a small, I think. Yeah, this is a bullet point skirt, um, just black, really classic, staple. Every ballerina needs one. And then another skirt. I actually, for some reason, have two of those. I think one of them's not mine. Anyway, then I have this white skirt. It's the same, like, shape as a bullet point skirt, but it's not bullet point brand. I honestly don't know what brand it is. I bought it from a friend, and it's uh, a little bit worn down. It has coffee stains on it, but we just ignore that. And this is a size medium, and I just roll it um, down which is honestly kind of nice because then it's a little bit longer, which I like the look of that. Next, I have another bullet point style skirt, but this one is from Ruby Aware. This is the prettiest skirt ever. I love this one. It's like a, what do you call that? Like a robin's egg. I think that's what the style was called when I bought it. It's like a bluish green color. So, so pretty. I love the skirt and it is a size medium, but I regret that. I want, I should have gotten a size small. I got a medium because it looked really, really short in the pictures and I want it to be longer, but it doesn't really fit around my waist. So if I got another one, I would get a size small, but I wear this all the time. It's so cute and it's kind of different. It's like kind of ruffly on the bottom. I don't know. It's definitely different than a plain bullet point skirt. <sighs> am I so out of breath? Oh my God. I have a Zoom call at 2 o'clock and it's 1.30, so I've got to go fast. Okay, next. <laughs> next, I have this skirt. Um, it's a cheetah print kind of, leopard print, purple, black, and cream skirt. If this is actually a wrap skirt. This is the only wrap skirt I own, but it is super cute. I got it from Freed of London, actually at the Freed of London store in london and this one's just one size but i don't know if you can get this online i bet if you dig you could find it but yeah i really like the skirt super cute the black leotard it's a little bit longer which i love the next two skirts i have are from a etsy shop called Granlin dancewear and i love these skirts so first i have this pink mesh one it is like a high low skirt and i really like this one i do not know what size it is if I had to guess, it would probably be a small, maybe a medium, but it is super, super pretty, really flowy, pink, love pink, really good staple skirt. Makes you feel so professional with a long skirt, of course. <laughs> and then the next skirt, I honestly forgot about this skirt. I totally forgot I had this and I should wear it more often because it's so pretty, but it's a shorter skirt, but it's still flowy. Um, and it is in this flower pattern. It's like a cream color with pink flowers and it is so pretty. And again, I got this one in a medium, but I regret it. I wish I got it in a small because it's just a little bit big. The last skirt I have is from Aurora Skirts and they have an Instagram. That's where I like click the link in their bio and got this skirt. I think it's off Etsy though. And it is so pretty. I've been wearing this so so much to my zoom ballet classes because i just got it like a couple months ago but um haven't gotten the chance to wear this one in the studio yet but i'm looking forward to that 
It is so pretty. It's this um, like goldish beige color kind of and it has just like elastic at the top and I like to roll that down so it's a little bit shorter and it's just straight across at the bottom and it is just so pretty. I love this skirt so much. It goes with everything too. I love the color. Okay, next I think we should do Ruby Aware. So I'm gonna go get all that. Okay, <laughs> I am like the biggest Ruby Aware fan. I love Ruby Aware. We'll start off with leg warmers. So I guess I'll do my short leg warmers first and then my long ones. For the short leg warmers, I have three pairs. So the first ones I've had for years. I don't know how long I've had these. I don't, I would be surprised if they still had these on their website. They're not my absolute favorite, but they're pretty cute. They're just these cream and blue striped leg warmers and knit ruby wear. I think these are probably a size small. I think everything I get from ruby wear or at least all my leg warmers are size small. So yeah, I have these blue striped ones. And then next I have some black ones. These are just black with these white stripes across them. I really like these. I wish they were a little bit thicker because when they're on, they're a little bit see-through and I think that looks kind of weird, but whatever. I still wear these all the time because I go with pretty much everything. Super cute black leg warmers. Then um, last pair of shorties, I have this cream color. I just recently got these from their spring collection. These are so cute. Again, like really um, versatile. They go with everything. And yeah, I really like these. These are a lot thicker, I would say. Not as stretchy also, but they're really cute still. Okay, and then for long leg warmers, I have four pairs. I actually lost. I left my favorite pair of Ruby Wear leg warmers at um the theater for nutcracker or something and that was the saddest day ever but they were like the maroon and white striped leg warmers and they were so cute but that's okay so anyway i've had these for such a long time these are just this like mustard color knit um yellowish leg warmers um so these are super cute they're like ribbed i like these a lot long <laughs> And then I also have these are so fun. I don't wear these a lot because it's hard to find things that they go with, but um, because they're so bright, but they're super cute. But they're like pink and white knit leg warmers. They're so fun. I really, really like these. Then I have these uh, black and white leg warmers. These are like a chevron pattern. I really like these a lot. They go with a lot of things and they're super, super cute chevron pattern love those okay and then last long leg warmers i have these pink ones i also got these from the spring collection like a couple months ago and these are so cute just light pink color also they're like the same material as the short cream ones and they're also like very thick and warm which i really like next thing i'm going to show you is my ruby wear jumpers i have two of these I used to have a plain black one, but I sold it on eBay. So I have two of these jumpers. This first one is this dark purple color with black stripes. And I love, love, love this um, jumper. It's super cute. I love jumpers because you can just throw them on and you look so professional and it requires no effort. But this jumper is actually in a size small and this I would have gotten a medium because it they this one the knit ones that are like this do shrink when they are washed. So this one fit me right out of the package, but I washed it and now it's a little bit too small and I'm just like keep trying to stretch it out so it can go back to normal. But yeah, I would get a medium next time or at least a size up because they do shrink or at least the ones that are like this material shrink. Hi, I just had to pop in and say, um, as you can see, here's the purple jumper on, so cute, but then you look down, look how short it is. Ugh, the worst. Anyway, don't wash and dry these. I think it's drying, doesn't that mean you drink? So don't dry these, because this will happen. Ugh. The other one I have is a different material, and it has not gotten any smaller it's stayed exactly the same and i 
love this jumper. It's so cute. Um, it is a like blue, black, kind of grayish striped jumper and it's so cute. Um, this one is a size medium and I love this so much. It's so cute. I would really recommend their jumpers. They're so cute. Last two Ruby Wear things I have are this Cora wrap. And to be honest, I have not really worn this a ton because I don't exactly know how to wear it. It is, I've been like experimenting with styling this in quarantine, but it's a little bit weird. But I think once I get it, it'll be cute. <laughs> but it's a, essentially just like a big square of fabric. And it is this knit um, navy blue with little white things, white spots on it and when I first bought this online I thought it was black but it's not it's navy blue but it still looks cute with like a black leotard um but yeah we'll see how I style this in the try on I've been struggling a little bit but still really cute okay, and then last thing I have from Ruby Wear is this what they call a Vika top I think and these are so cute um they're kind of off the shoulder uh just little cropped sweaters and I find these really really nice um i think the purpose of these is so that you can keep everything um your arms and stuff warm and have a little sweater on but you can still partner and stuff because they're so cropped but anyway i think they're just so cute um i like to put this underneath like my striped jumper or something like that or just like during class i'll have it in my bag and just like throw it on if i'm cold or something but it is super super cute i really really like that it's a also, what size is this? This is a size medium. I need to stop filming this in 10 minutes. <laughs> anyway, so I have this jumper from Discount Dance San Sash Sancha. I don't know how to say that, but that's the actual brand. This is a really good like staple ballerina item, I would say. It's just this light pink top, black bottoms. It's like a fleece kind of material. And it has like a tie at the waist and i got this in the biggest size they had because i wanted it to be super super baggy and it definitely shrank when it got washed so keep that in mind but whatever size is the biggest they had on there that's what i got and it is really cute i really like this one the only like con to this jumper is that if you have tights on which you probably do if you're going to ballet class um the fleece like has little fuzzies that will come off onto your tights and I don't really know how to get rid of that so that kind of stops me from wearing this but it's really really cute and I really like like rolling the top half down next thing is all of my trash bag pants shorts all that so I have the like two classic trash bags that everybody has so I don't even know what brand this is Capizio. Uh, these are size small. Trash bag pants. Probably got them off discount dance. Yeah. Just your average trash bag pants. <laughs> hey again. So, another thing is I was just filming this. I realized I didn't even include my favorite trash bag pants. Um, and then I looked everywhere for them and I can't find them. But my favorite trash bag pants are the Gainer Minden ones. I know I've shown them in um, other videos of mine, but I don't know where they are. I looked everywhere, but I just thought I'd tell you the Gainer Minden trash bag pants are amazing. And then I have the same Capizio trash bags, but they are shorts and I got these in a medium and I actually cut the like elastic it has at the bottom off so I can roll them up myself because the el elastic is just super uncomfortable and like is really tight and I hated it so I just cut it off. It doesn't fray or anything and then I'll just roll them up like you see in the try on. And then last trash bag items. These are my favorite shorts ever. I love these. These are from Breed of London, I think. Yeah, I think I got these on the Free of London website. These are a size medium and they are trash bag or i think they're called their sauna shorts they're super cute um they have the like little elastics that you can cinch your ear but i don't usually just leave them baggy and then they have like an elastic waistband and these keep your legs super 
warm. <laughs> so I really like these. If you're gonna get trash bag for it, ugh, trash bag shorts, I like these a lot better um, than like the Capizio ones, but yeah. Last thing is like miscellaneous stuff like booties, and then I'm also gonna show you like my dance bag and stuff. So first things first, I guess I'll show you my dance bag. I change dance bags literally all the time. I don't know why. I used to use this like tote bag I got from the website Bagu and then I used like what else did I have? Oh I had a Fjall Raven Kankin, of course. <laughs> and then now I have this one. So my dance bag is just this Lululemon bag. It is super super nice. I really like this. Um it I got it from Lululemon store. I do not know what it's called but I remember it was like not that expensive for Lululemon. So I was very impressed and that's why I got it. But it has this like little net pocket <laughs> in the front and I usually keep like Advil, my lipstick, tiny hairspray in the front. And then it has another pocket right here. Everything falls out of this pocket. That's right here. I never put anything in there. And then on the inside, it has another pocket and then just like the big mess. So it has a lot of space, but it's really easy to just carry around and it looks cute on your shoulder. <laughs> so yeah, the only complaint is that it doesn't have a pocket for your water bottle, but so I usually just end up carrying that by itself, but I can live with that. Next we have my point tree bag. My point tree bag is this leopard print bagu and I love it so much. It's so cute. Um, yeah. Bagu. It's the baby Bagu, like the smallest one they have. And it's just in this cheetah print and it's really cute and I'm obsessed with it. And it also holds a lot of stuff. I think there's like five pairs of point shoes in here in my ballet shoes and a bunch of other random things. Okay, next I'll show you my booties, I guess. So I have the like classic block booties that everybody has. These are just black. And I used to wear these a ton. As you can see, they're totally, like, ripped up. Um, I don't wear them as much anymore. I have been, like, searching for booties that I like, and it's been a struggle. But these kind of are just really big. Like, I think these are super cute. And, um, I think these are super cute for ballet, but my feet are huge. And I, these are giant, and I think they just make my feet look so large and... I don't like that look, but I wear these sometimes. They're nice to like throw in your bag and then put on when you get to the studio, but you know, block booties. Then um, through my trying to find booties that I like, I got these. These are North Face booties. And I remember when I went to one summer intensive, some of the girls from the company were taking class with us and they all had these. So I immediately ordered them after that. And I don't love them. I like them a lot better if they weren't like, they have like a real sole on the bottom, like shoes. So I feel really weird wearing these in the studio because I can't like warm up my feet in them because they have, they're like real shoes. But anyway, they were on sale. They're like these little North Face slipper booties, black. Then last thing for this warm-up video, I have my North Face vest. And this is probably my favorite warm-up that I have. It's I wear it every single day. It's just a puffer vest um, from North Face. I think it looks so professional. Um, yeah, it's super, super cute. I got it on sale too. It is a size medium, if you're wondering. And I love this thing. Such a ballet staple okay anyway that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it um i would love to make a video on how i style my warm-ups and match them to my leotards and different hairstyles i like to do i was talking about that in my last video but i was thinking maybe like a lookbook sort of video um so let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that and as always comment down any video suggestions that you have and thank you so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye